Hello guys welcome to Info Nitty, this is your host Mark so today's our topic is about, is COVID back again? Without any further delay let's get started. The coronavirus pandemic has affected people all over the world for over a year now. One question that many people are asking is, is COVID back again? In this video, we will explore the current situation with COVID, the reasons for the recent rise in cases, the impact of the resurgence, and what we can do to prevent and protect ourselves. We will also discuss the future of the pandemic and what we can expect in the coming months. Stay tuned to find out more. The recent rise in COVID cases is a cause for concern for many people. There are several potential reasons for this increase. One reason is the emergence of new variants of the virus. These variants may be more contagious or more resistant to current vaccines, which can lead to a faster spread of the virus. Another reason for the rise in cases is the relaxation of social distancing measures and other prevention measures. As people begin to feel more confident that the pandemic is under control, they may be less likely to follow these measures, leading to a greater risk of transmission. Finally, increased travel, both domestic and international, can contribute to the spread of COVID. As people move around more, they have a greater chance of coming into contact with the virus and potentially spreading it to others. The resurgence of COVID has had significant impacts on healthcare systems around the world. With more people becoming infected, hospitals may become overwhelmed, leading to delays in treatment and a higher risk of serious illness or death. The economic consequences of the resurgence are also significant. Many businesses have had to shut down or reduce operations, leading to job losses and financial struggles for people and families. The resurgence can also have a negative impact on the overall economy as a whole. Despite the resurgence of COVID, there are still steps we can take to prevent and protect ourselves and others. Wearing masks, washing hands frequently, and practicing social distancing are all important measures that can help to slow the spread of the virus. Vaccines are also an important tool in the fight against COVID. While vaccines are not yet widely available in all parts of the world, they offer a high level of protection against the virus and can help to prevent serious illness and death. It is difficult to predict exactly what the future holds for the COVID pandemic. It is possible that the resurgence will continue, or cases may decline in the coming months. Regardless of the direction the pandemic takes, it is important to remain vigilant and continue to follow prevention measures to protect ourselves and others. In conclusion, the question of whether COVID is back again is a complex one. While there has been a recent rise in cases, there are steps we can take to prevent and protect ourselves. It is important to stay informed and continue to follow the guidance of public health officials in order to slow the spread of the virus and protect ourselves and our communities.